Welcome back to Pharma Guideline, your trusted source for everything in pharmaceutical manufacturing and compliance. Today, we are diving into a vital topic for anyone working in or studying the pharmaceutical industry. Understanding the US FDA drug approval process. Whether you are in quality assurance, regulatory affairs, or drug development, this is the roadmap every pharmaceutical professional must understand. Why the FDA drug approval process matters. Before a medicine can reach a pharmacy shelf or hospital bed, it must first pass through one of the most stringent review processes in the world, the FDA drug approval process. This system is designed to ensure that every drug is safe, effective, and manufactured to the highest quality standards. So how does a new drug go from an idea in the lab to a product in the market? Let's break it down. Step-by-step -step breakdown of the FDA drug approval process. Step 1. Preclinical research. The journey begins with preclinical testing. In this phase, the drug is tested on cell cultures. Animals, typically to species. This helps assess toxicity. Pharmacokinetics, how the body absorbs, distributes, metabolizes, and excretes the drug. Pharmacodynamics, the drug's effect on the body. If the results show that the drug is reasonably safe to proceed, the sponsor prepares an investigational new drug application, or IND. Step 2. Investigational new drug, IND, application. The IND is submitted to the FDA and includes Preclinical study results Manufacturing information Clinical trial protocols Investigator information The FDA has 30 days to review the IND. If no clinical hold is placed, the sponsor can begin human trials. Step 3. Clinical trials the human clinical trial phase is divided into three major stages. Phase 1 conducted on a small group of healthy volunteers, generally 20 to 100 people. It focuses on safety, dosage and side effects. Phase 2 is conducted on a larger group, generally 100 to 500 patients with the condition. It focuses on efficacy and further safety data. Phase 3 is conducted on thousands of patients across multiple centers. It confirms efficacy, monitors side effects, and compares with existing treatments. Clinical trials are closely monitored by Institutional Review Boards, IRB, and follow Good Clinical Practice, GCP, guidelines. Step 4. New Drug Application, NDA If the clinical trial results are positive, the sponsor submits a new drug application, NDA. An NDA includes All clinical data Risk-benefit analysis Labeling information Manufacturing details, including CMC, that is chemistry, manufacturing, and controls. This is the official request for FDA approval to market the drug in the United States. Step 5 FDA review. Once submitted, the FDA has 60 days to decide whether to file the NDA for review. If accepted, a multidisciplinary team evaluates clinical efficacy and safety, manufacturing and controls, labeling and packaging. The standard review timeline is 10 months or 6 months for priority reviews. Advisory committees may be involved for expert recommendations. Step 6. FDA Decision After the review, the FDA can issue one of three outcomes. Approval letter The drug can be marketed in the U.S. Complete response letter The application is rejected with a detailed explanation and necessary corrections. Approvable letter Minor issues that need to be addressed before final approval. If approved, the drug enters the market phase, but the process doesn't stop here. Step 7. Post-marketing surveillance that is phase 4. 
Once a drug is on the market, the FDA requires Phase 4 post-marketing studies to monitor long-term side effects, evaluate the drug's performance in real-world settings, identify rare or delayed adverse reactions. The FDA may also inspect manufacturing facilities to ensure ongoing CGMP compliance, fast-track breakthrough therapy, and accelerated approval. Some drugs, especially those targeting life-threatening conditions, can qualify for expedited programs such as fast-track, breakthrough therapy, accelerated approval, priority review. These help speed up the process without compromising safety or quality. Key takeaways Let's quickly summarize. Preclinical studies ensure basic safety. IND allows human testing. Clinical trials, phases 1 to 3, build the safety and efficacy case. NDA is the formal application for approval. The FDA thoroughly reviews all scientific, manufacturing, and labeling data. Post-marketing studies ensure long-term safety. Understanding this process is crucial for anyone in drug development, QA, regulatory affairs, or pharmacovigilance. Thanks for watching Pharma Guideline. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more regulatory insights, case studies, and compliance tips. Join our membership plan to view member specific videos and courses.